Hello YouTube, Tom Steppian here. I'm doing a video of my Royal 994. Um, it's a nice machine. It's a little dirty. It's not. It doesn't look as nice as this one. But they're both. They both work really good. Oh, and I decided um, this one. The belt got bad, so I put a, I decided to put a Kirby belt in there, and this thing works a whole lot better with that Kirby belt. So, I'm just, I'm just going to use Kirby belts in my Royals for now on. This one still has a Royal belt, and it's getting bad, but I mean, it's okay for now. I'm going to plug it in to show you. This one is it's just two prongs. Which I like the two prongs. Three prongs is there's really nothing wrong with three prongs, but like the four thousand, its third prong came out. So yeah, here we go. It's loud. Um, that's the Royal 994. Let's see. Okay, let me let me get the cord coiled up again, and then let me just say something. By the way, this video is not going to be very long because dinner is r real soon. Um, let me put this back. I made a, I did a rearrangement. I rearranged where my vacuums go. <laughs> um, I decided to put. Any of my Kirby's older than 19, older than the one CR, right here. I moved the the, the Hoovers, the Royals over here, <laughs> and the Dirt Devil. There's my Rex Air and Spick Span. This stuff's the same. <laughs> I put like D80 and older over here. Um, so we've got these, we've got five machines here. Um, if I ever get a D80, this is where it will go, I guess. And then this side is for the 1CR and up. So here's the 1CR, the Omega, and all that. And then the Legend. And this this empty space is going to be where the G-Series go. When I get a G-Series, I'll put it... If I get, like, another G3, I'll put it right here. And so on. Um... Let me show you my metal. I took this metal fan out of uh, the Heritage. This is the modified metal fan. So here's the fan. Here's the modified part. It's all ground. And yes, if you notice, a lot of parts that are grinded ground. But if you look, the it's not the spacer. It's this thing around it that you grind down. Um, basically, the G-Series was built with a, a, a brass ring on the bearing, and, uh, if you put a metal fan in without modifying it, the, this part right here will, will push against that brass ring, and it'll make the fan almost unmovable, so when you go to use it, it'll, it'll be really slow, it'll overheat immediate, immediately, and it'll smell like burning, so you have to grind that down. If you notice, oh, I don't have any extra um, washers or spacers, but but um, with the G series, they basically designed it so only a plastic fan could fit in it. I don't know if they did that because they didn't want people putting a metal fan in there. But I mean, they didn't make metal fans anymore. Where with the Heritage series and the Tradition. Even though they kept, they went on with plastic fans, the motor was still able to have a metal fan. With the G-Series, they updated it to where you where it's only a plastic fan. But, 
that doesn't mean it's impossible. A little modification and you've got, boom, new mixed with old. Um, anyway, that's it for now. And Terry, I'm just going to show you again the Heritage 2 that you'll be getting. Um, uh, okay, this is what you're getting. A Heritage 2, it has a G3 cord, which fits as a black zip brush, a red bag, and the wheels came off the spray painted tradition. You can just, you said you'd spray paint them black, go ahead. These are the original wheels. As you can see, they're broken. Like, the wheels aren't broken, but the thing that keeps them on is broken. So screw it. Um, now this is easy to take out. It's, a, it's actually works. Um, I'm just going to let you know that the orange cap is missing, but that's not a problem. Nothing wrong with that. This already has a paper bag in there. Keep the paper bag in there. Um, it's not full yet, so just use that until it's full. Anyway, thanks for watching.